Yesterday, my housemate was telling me how he doesn't have a lot of time to cook, or sometimes it just takes too much effort. So I decided to make a couple of videos with quick and easy recipes. Trevor, this one's for you. Today, we're going to make some somen. Somen noodles are very thin wheat noodles that cook quickly, making them perfect for a quick meal. On top of this, they're served cold, the broth is simple, and they pair well with simple garnishes such as scallions, eggs, and sesame seeds, making it ideal for someone who doesn't have a lot of time. So the first step is to follow the cooking directions on the package. Uh, usually, from boiling, it should only take a couple of minutes to cook the noodles. And while those are being cooked, let's focus on making the broth and the garnishes. The broth is often used as a dipping sauce. Honestly, either works. This recipe makes enough for four servings, so if you only want one serving, just divide it by four. First off, we're going to need a cup of dashi, then add in half a cup of mirin, and lastly, half a cup of light soy sauce. Mix it together well, and chill in the fridge or the freezer, depending on how cold you want your broth, until the noodles are done. Next, we're going to slice up some scallions. Prepare these any way you like, whether you want to ribbon them or just thin slices, but make sure you make a lot of them. So next I'll be making a scrambled egg. The trick here is to keep it very flat if you can't roll it how I've done here. It doesn't have to be flat, but the texture is just way better this way with the somen than your typical fluffy scrambled eggs. Once the somen noodles are done cooking, we're going to strain them and then put them in an ice bath to cool down. When all the ingredients are ready, it's time to put it all together. First, let's add some sesame seeds, then some egg, next some of the scallions, and then a little bit of bonito flakes. I like furikake, but nori also works. And lastly, our cold broth. You can use whatever toppings you like, but these are just the ones I had lying around the house. And that's it. Really simple, right? This takes about 10 minutes to make, but it really just depends on how long it takes your stove to boil water. I wanted to show that you can make delicious food even when short on time or energy. Try out this recipe for yourself and let me know how it turns out in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.